uh, going back home and you know playing up at Washington State. What's that going to be like for you? It's going to be fun. Um, you know, I obviously grew up watching a lot of games in Martin Stadium, and uh, you know, going to a lot of Apple Cups and different things like that. You know, having my uncle Mark, you know, being the Hall of Fame over there, it's uh, it's going to be different, but it'll be fun for sure. Saturday, how would you kind of assess how you did? Uh, you know, never really got into a rhythm. Um, you know, stalled out a few drives. I thought we uh, were pretty good on third downs. Uh, you know, obviously, didn't get the fourth down early in the game. And then, uh, you know, missed a couple shots, um, you know, when I got an opportunity. But um, I never, it's never as good as you think, and it's never as bad as you think. I went back on film, and I didn't – and I thought it was, you know, a little better than I thought it was. But, uh, you know. Definitely looking forward to uh, improving week two. How hard, you mentioned the rhythm. How hard can that be when you, you know, the last two years you haven't had to really worry about someone else coming in at all in the game, and you had the two series off, and that's when you threw the pick right after that. I mean, how hard is that? And what kind of adjustment is that going to be for you, having to you know take a series off here and there? Yeah, it's uh, it's not really that much different to be honest. Honestly, it's kind of nice, you know, being able to uh, you know see what's going on from the sidelines a little bit. I mean, you kind of get a different uh, perspective. Um, you know, when Montel's out there, I can see. You know what they're trying to do on defense, what the corners are doing post snap. A lot of stuff I don't get to see. You know when I'm handing the ball off and my back's turned. So um, from that standpoint, it's really nice. And um, you know I think it's really just comes down to you know you gotta you gotta go out there and make plays. It doesn't really matter you know how many what you know when you're getting in or what series. When you, I know this summer when you talked to other quarterbacks around the country, you talked about what it's like to play quarterback, the pressures of playing quarterback. So what is it like now for you after a game? You know Montel was in there and he was in there late and you know the excited the fans and all that stuff what's it like for you right now you know the pressure of being a quarterback uh, I'd say it's pretty much the same to be honest um, you know just uh, I, you know really I stopped worrying about all the external factors that um, you know are going on and really for me it's just all about getting better from week one to week two so whatever I can do to do that this week um, you know I'm gonna work on it as hard as I can in practice I'm gonna be in here every single day watching film and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this game. Was that hard though? I mean, in the fourth quarter, you obviously want to be the guy out there and to see someone else in there finishing out the game. How, how hard was that? Um, you know, we were winning, and you know, Montel was doing a great job. So it's it's uh, really wasn't that hard for me because you know, at the end of the day, I'm I want to win a championship. That's the first and first and foremost for me. Honestly, you know, not getting it done my first two years here. That's something that I really am looking forward to. So. Um, you know, whoever's in the game's in the game. You know, whoever's rolling is rolling. And, uh, you know, I thought he did a great job, you know, coming in um, and uh, making plays. How much you guys, you have a pretty young offensive line. Is it, it going to take some time there? I know that uh, you emphasize kind of pocket awareness and stuff this, this offseason, too. And mm -hmm. it seems like you, you hung in the pocket as much as you could on, on Saturday. But just, just how will that kind of continue to uh, get better, I guess? Yeah, no, I have no worries about that at all. I think our offensive line's going to, you know, it's kind of like the same thing with me. We're all looking to improve from week one to week two. Um, you know, a lot of new faces out there. You know, guys getting their first snaps in, you know, a game-like situation with, you know, live live bullets flying. So um, the communication, I think, um, that's something that's definitely got to improve. And then, uh, you know, just making sure we're all on the same page. And, uh, you know, from there, we'll, uh, we'll be all right. You talk about that responding to adversity aspect. How big of a test is that this week, considering Saturday, and then considering you know going home and playing against a really good team? <clears throat> yeah, no, it's it's definitely gonna be uh, it's gonna be loud there. You know, we obviously know that it's gonna be a great environment. Um, you know, I gotta expect adversity. Uh, you know, at some point throughout the game. So, uh, you know, that's something that we always know. You know, we we got it. You know, our first three series uh, on Saturday. You know, thought we were you know had a good plan coming out, and then you know didn't score the first three drives. So. That's uh, you know something that we had to battle through, and I thought we did a great job doing that. How do you feel you've handled you know the cases and games? I know a slow start against Air Force and Baylor, and even Troy. Mm -hmm. how, how do you how do you feel you've handled that, and how are you trying to improve that? Where if things you know do go wrong, that they, they don't just stay that way. Yeah, you know I'm always trying to improve that. Um, you know, just uh, it's little things here and there too. Like you know, in the first series we get stopped on a fourth and one. We were we were rolling there. Um, you know, I took a sack in uh, the red zone the next series, and then the third one just, uh, you know, missed a throw that, uh, you know, had to step up and, uh, you know, make a throw with a guy in my face. So, um, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, I got to work on. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we, I think every quarterback in the country deals with. And, uh, you know, we don't all, always have uh, perfect games. And, uh, you know, I realize that that's not going to be my first off game. That's not going to be my last off game. So. 
that's something that I realize, and like I said, I'm just looking forward to get better in week two. What was kind of your relationship with Montel like? And you know, some guys in your spot might might not sit well for you to be the two-year starter, another guy come in, take some of your playing time. I mean, how, how have you? How's your relationship with him and that kind of dynamic in the room? My relationship's great with Montel. I think he's done nothing but good things since he's been here. He's been unselfish. Um, you know, he's been a good leader. Um, you know, he's helped me out, pushed me every single day. I think I'm better because of him. Um, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, we've, we've been competing every single day with each other. So, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome to have him in the QB room. Um, you know, he obviously brings a different, different dynamic to our offense. Um, you know, can do some things with his legs and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great to have him. Montel mentioned the same thing that you did watching from the sidelines, having that perspective. How helpful is that, especially considering the last two years you weren't able to? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely helpful, especially, you know, if, like, you know, you, we were saying, you know, we don't get first three drives, maybe don't go as well for us as we thought, you know, and then he comes in and you know, a little bit of different change of pace. I can kind of see what's going on a little bit out there, and then, uh, you know, hopefully we can get something rolling. So um, it's definitely uh, – it's definitely nice. Is there more pressure on you to say, hey, I, you know, I, I have to play better or I might lose more playing time? Um, I wouldn't say so necessarily. I mean, I just got to, you know, I, I always have to play good. I think no matter what, um, you know, whether Montel is here or not, I'm going to still have to play good, uh, you know, because we need to win. So um, that's, uh, you know, something that I've, I think I've, I've always dealt with here. And then, uh, you know, like I said, can't really focus on the external factors. Got to just focus on the day-to-day -day process and uh, getting, you know, getting myself better from week one to week two. Rippin, what do you see so far out of the Washington State defense? Uh, very active. Um, you know, very good defensive front. I think uh, you know linebackers are uh, very experienced. Um, you know, both. I think they got two or three seniors there uh, at that position. So. Um, you know, secondary does a great job of disguising their coverages. Um, you know, obviously seeing an offense like Washington State's every single day, you know, their secondary is going to have to be disciplined with a guy like Luke Falk. So, um, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. It was last year, um, but, you know, we're hoping to improve on, uh, you know, what we did last year and, uh, you know, come out and just, uh, you know, execute like we know we can do. Do you know, do you know Luke Falk at all or do you, do you have any relationship with him at all or anything like that? Um, no, not really. I, uh, you know, I know of him, and um, you know, our one of our old athletic trainers here used to work at Washington State, and uh, you know, got me in contact with him for a quick bit, but you know, never really have, uh, um, you know, spent much time with him. Yeah. How about uh, maybe uh, I don't know how many times you've been to Pullman in your life, but do, do you have a most memorable one? Was an Apple Cup or anything like that? But anything that really stands out to you? Yeah, I think the 2012 Apple Cup. Keith Price is last year, and Wazoo was having a bad year. Um, and, you know, uh, UW was pretty good that year. I think it was Sark's, I want to say it was almost his last year. I think it was Leach's first year there. Yeah. And they ended up winning in overtime. You know, it was just like a, a defensive lineman almost had a pick six in overtime. It was a really fun game. Do you, do you, do, what about, uh, do, you, do you know Mike Leach very well at all or anything like that? Or yeah, I uh, got to spend a lot of time with him in my recruiting process. Okay. What, uh, what, what, what's your, what are your thoughts on Coach Leach? And only because he was a, uh, asked the question yesterday, do you, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> um, I think he's got an opinion on everything, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, he's obviously a very, very smart coach. And, um, you know, I saw a quote the other, or somebody sent me a quote the other day that he, he was like, so they asked him a question about my Uncle Mark, and he said that they could, he could probably play D-line for him right now. And I would have to agree with that <laughs> statement. So, uh you know, it's uh, he's a uh, he's an interesting guy, but you know, a great coach, great offensive mind. He's done really good things at Wazoo. I know he couldn't come down last. He couldn't come down last year, but is, he, is your uncle going to be there Saturday? I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I know I don't. I'm not going to have to get a ticket for him because I think he gets season tickets for life. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> don't dodge the question. Of, do you believe in aliens? Uh, <laughs> I think I do. I mean, I think it's it's uh, you know it's very naive to say that there's no other life form out there. You know, with all the uh, stuff going on in space. What about answer? Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot? <sighs> That's a myth. There's no way. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in Bigfoot. And if your uncle is going to be at the game, do you see him wearing crimson or? Oh, blue? for sure. Yeah, he's definitely wearing crimson. My mom's a Wazoo grad. She's wearing blue and orange. So.
Uh, I want to ask you quick about, about AJ. Um, he, it, you know, in, in that game Saturday, you know, I don't, I don't, he didn't have a catch from you last season, but he, mm -hmm. he had four out there uh, on, on Saturday. What, what stood out about his game and what he does bring to the offense? Uh, just, you know, been the same guy he has been for the last nine months. I think he's probably worked the hardest out of anybody I've seen. Um, you know, as far as putting in extra work, you know, being in the weight room, getting in jugs all the time. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, unbelievable teammate. The guy that's been really unselfish, had to wait, you know, to get on the field here. And, um, you know, it's starting to pay off for him. The O-line, I mean, I know you mentioned it, but without Archie on set last letter, you meet a lot of young guys in there and even Cuevedo subbing in. I mean, what? Mm -hmm. I know you're not going to expect growing pains, or maybe you do, but how do you kind of look at that, that line kind of getting better and it looked a lot different than the one in the Cactus Bowl? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of new faces, like I said. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, there is going to be some growing pains, I think, there. Um, you know, obviously, with just inexperience, you know, comes, you got to learn. You know, you got you to gotta fail, I think, to learn a little bit. So, um, you know, I, like I said, I have complete trust in Coach Bedell and, uh, you know, that entire group. And I think they're going to do, you know, a great job preparing this week and be better from week one to week two.